In the last video, we integrated QueerJS Editor and we modified the fonts within the um, within the the text editor itself. Okay. So we even used a certain Google font called uh, Libre Baskerville, and I said I was going to integrate it later on. Uh, I'm going to integrate it in this video, but there is a few there are a few things I want to explain before we move on. So what I'm explaining is uh, some common errors that user users can easily uh, come across when integrating this. So let us go first of all to the create.html file in the post folder. Now when integrating um, the CSS and the JS for the library or any library for that matter, it is usually advisable to place the CSS for that library uh, above this your normal CSS because um, usually you will want to replace or rewrite some of the styles uh, from that library. For example, we did that here where we were rewriting some styles inside the text editor and we're modifying, let me see, the height of QL editor. So if we hadn't if we hadn't placed our custom styles below the styles for um, the library, our override our override styles would not take effect. So make sure you place the style for the library before you place your own custom styles. The same thing goes for the JavaScript. Make sure that you include the library itself um, before you add the, uh, the, the, your implementation of that library. Uh, remember, the functions that we are using inside our PostQL editor, this new instance that we are using here, uh, it is implementing the quill class, this quill class that is being provided by the library, the JS library itself. So if you place this before the library, the quill class is going to be undefined and you will run into errors. And you also notice that I've placed it before my other JavaScript, just in case I want to override some features from the library. All right, so that's it about the explanations I wanted us to make. Now let us add our Google fonts. Um, we're going to be adding Libre Baskerville as well as Open Sans. So on our browser, let's go to fonts.google.com. Okay, uh, Open Sans is a very common uh, font. So it appears on the first page, but if you didn't see it, you could type uh, Open sans and then you click on it and select uh, the font width that you want to use in your project i'm just going to select everything okay so that's it the next font you are going to be picking is libre baskerville baskerville we click on it and we select all the font width and the, the variants that we need. Okay, so having done that, we can now copy the links. You can copy these links and then open our create.html. We scroll to the top and let's paste it before the link to the link to the uh, QJS library. And we could also give it a font to indicate that these are Google fonts. Okay, now back in our text editor, if you refresh, you will see now that it takes the fonts that we are takes the fonts that we assigned to our text editor in our CSS. So our, um, our font family has been successfully integrated. All right, so that's all the explanations I wanted to make in this video. And this brings us to the end of this section. 
Now in the upcoming sections, we are going to be duplicating the work we have been doing for create posts and manage posts. And um, so we'll be duplicating it for the other items like topics, users, roles, permissions, and so on. So our work in the upcoming section is going to be um, a lot easier than one, what we have done here. So we have done the bulk of the work and uh, I expect it's going to be easier from here on out. So see you in the next section.